Recently someone asked me just how you tell which direction is which if you don't have a GPS or a compass with you. Well, there's actually about a dozen different ways that are pretty easy for any of us to learn. But today we're just gonna cover one of those. So stay with us in the next few minutes, we're gonna go out to the backyard and just with a couple of sticks and rocks, show you just how to find in north, south, east and west. It is a very hot July afternoon right now. In fact, it's about 3.55 in the afternoon, just so you know, in mid-July. And if I needed to find out where I was going or which direction was north, south, east, and west, this is one way to do it if there's nothing else available to me. So all you need is one good long stick and preferably as straight as possible. This isn't entirely straight, but two and a half feet long is much better than just a little short pencil squatty sized stick. Uh, but whatever you find is gonna be just fine for your situation. Then you're gonna put it down into the ground and then you're going to watch and see where that shadow falls. If you look closely, you see where the shadow is coming. And if I put my hand under here, it makes it easier me to, for me to find the end of that shadow right there. There is right where it comes to end. And I'm gonna put a rock right there or I could put a stick. Either one is ideal uh, for this situation. So I'm just gonna find exactly where that shadow comes to an end. And I'm not gonna have it touching the rock. I just want the rock's tip to touch the tip of the shadow. And I'm gonna leave it there. Now I'm going to wait at least 15 minutes before I check it again. 30 minutes is better. And ideally you want to wait a full hour to see exactly how far that, that shadow has traveled and in what direction. All right, it's been about 30 minutes now and you can see Here's where it was, and here's where it has moved to. And so, what we're looking for is where that line is. We're gonna give it a few more minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and take another pointy rock and do the same exact thing. Finding that spot, let's see where it is. I don't want it touching the shadow, but I want it right with its nose. Let me try this end right with its nose touching the end of the shadow. So there we are right now. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the shadow. And it comes right up to the nose of this rock. Right, just to be safe, we waited a little extra long. It's been almost an hour and a half now, and you can see that that line has gotten longer and longer, and the later in the day it gets, the faster those shadows grow. But I'm gonna place a third stone right there at the end of where that shadow falls on the ground. And you can see that we've got a line here that has formed of three rocks. So the next thing we need to do is find the closest thing to a straight stick and if I hold this one way it's pretty crooked but if I hold it the other way it's pretty straight and we're just going to lay it to connect the dots across all three right like that. When we do that we've got the, the east to west line so the west spot is where it started, the east is where it has thrown its shadow and then to find north and south it's pretty easy to just put a, a shorter stick perpendicular to that right there in the middle and we have a pretty close version of north to south. So north, south, west and east. And this is gonna be easy for you if you remember where the north, south, east and west fall in relation to each other. If you kind of have a few of these ways that you can test it, you might look west and make sure, yeah, that looks like it's, it's setting that direction. So yeah, that lines up with correctly with what I've found here. It's good if you have multiple methods of knowing how to do this, but if you didn't have a compass or a phone with you or a GPS, you'd sure be thankful for knowing how to find north, south, east, and west. All right, now go share this video with somebody else. Go out into your, your own yard and have fun playing with it and just see if you can't recreate this so that in an emergency, if you had to figure it out, you have one more tool in your pocket that you could pull out and remember hey, this is how I can find my direction and I don't have to panic, I'm good to go. 
All right, till we see you on the next video, go out and be a blessing to someone today. And thanks for joining us. Hey there, before you go, in the last little bit of your Bible, you'll find a skinny book called 1 John. And in chapter three, the first couple of verses there, it says this, see what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of God. And so we are. The reason the world doesn't know us is because it didn't know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared. But we know that when He appears, we shall be like Him because we shall see Him as He is. And everyone who thus hopes in Him will purify themselves just as He is pure. Now go spread the word.